हूँ आपका दोस्त माइक एंड टुडे वी आर गोना सी दिस सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट वाला थिंग एंड इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई हैव बिल्ड अ वेबसाइट using bootstrap node js express js and some of the npm packages which i have used it so let me show you the code so we are going to just going to see the code and what i have built so first of all uh, this is the episode 1 and i will be going live uh, in couple of weeks so i am doing a setup to go live and do the live coding on this channel we to tech so if you are new then hit that subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that whenever i come live or i upload a video on this channel so you get a instant notification on your mobile phones and you will stay updated and also press the bell icon and also press that all wala thing so that you will get all the notifications from my channel so this is the entire code so first of all uh, let me tell you what uh, technology which i have used and what that means so we have to go to that um, browser and let's open bootstrap so bootstrap is a front end framework for designing beautiful front ends and it was officially announced by twitter so twitter made bootstrap and boot you can use bootstrap just by going below and copying this css only wala thing and paste it pasting this thing inside your uh, main index file html file in my case it will be uh, main dot handlebars and here i have pasted this file so once we are you are uh, including this file inside the main dot handlebars which is the main dot html file so you will be able to use all the classes of bootstrap like the bg lite navbar navbar brand anything and everything in your whole website so that is bootstrap and the second thing is node js so node js is a uh, server side framework for running your website so node js using use javascript and it's just a runtime environment to run your website on a server and the third thing which are, we are using is express.js so using express.js we will be making api routes like uh, the routes are like that uh, like uh, google.com slash uh, register so slash register is a route so that uh, when you do that slash register it will take you to that registration wala page where you go and uh, do that registration thing so we will be using uh, express js to build our routes and all those things so <coughs> let me show you what i built today so just go to terminal and yeah and for running your code uh, i'm using nodemon nodemon is a uh, npm package which you can use to run your project and the feature of nodemon is that it uh, detects the events of save so whenever you save your file it will refresh the server automatically for you and you don't have to again and go and stop the server and restart the server so let's set nodemon and yeah server listening on 5050 5050 is a port number here so let's go and check out what we get to see and what i built so local host 5050 and yeah here we go so this is the website which i built its name is guest mash uh, it's basically a guest uh, registering website so whenever you want to manage something like uh, you are managing all the guest names and all the guests who are attending uh, any of your programs so you can use this website to manage all those guests to register all those guests so let me do one thing like let me add a guest name akshay kumar yeah that celebrity and uh, let's do the profile pic of that guest so that we get to know who is coming and who is not coming so i guess we have akshay kumar yeah 
so here it is and when we open it uh, we get the file profile photo and once we click on the register that entire thing is saved on a public folder inside the uh, inside of our project so if we want to see all our guests so, so let's add one more guest so you want Amitabh Bachchan as well Amitabh Bachchan as well to our party so let's add, add his pro pic so yeah here we go Amitabh Bachchan uh, register yeah we have registered it successfully now we want to see uh, the list of the guests which are coming to our event so we will click on this guest wala thing and here we go these are the guests which are coming to our party so we have two Akshay Kumar here one Amitabh Bachchan and this is your host me my Kumar so this is how it looks and if you will go and click on register it will go to the register page where you will be able to add those things and again you click on guest it will take you to that guest website where you will be able to see all the guests here so, and this uh, website is mobile responsive so what that mean is if I uh, reduce the screen size you can see the elements getting reduced yeah so this is the mobile view so if you will open this website on a mobile then you will see this layout that's cool no? and if you will click on register and that's also changed so let's get the web view and today I will be showing you how I build this so let's switch on to the coding side so yeah so finally we are here in the coding side and I'm just gonna explain you what I did to make that thing working okay so first of all we will uh, start from the project structure so this is a folder in which we have a model okay uh, so right now the model um, uh, we are using the MVC structure and I have included that model well thing because uh, in future if I want to do uh, if I want to save that first name last name and that profile picture onto a MongoDB database or a database or any other database uh, from where I will be fetching those uh, things then I will be gonna requiring this model well, thing and here I will, uh, I will do all the database related operations in this files so model is basically the handling of all the database related things so MVC stands for model view controller so model is uh, related to all the uh, happenings with the database thing view is the all all the things which you can see on a website so this is a, this entire is a view so everything is here is a view and controller so what controller is like you see this form so once we click this register button the controller gets that uh, register event takes the, all the values and pass it to the pass it to the model and model will do all the configuration work and save it to the database so right now we are not using any models we are not using any database so we are not doing anything in this model well I think and the second thing is the node modules where uh, the package which we are installing in this project are first of all you have to use the express to make those routes and the second package is express handlebars so it's a templating engine for node.js using express so what it will do is that you will be able to display dynamic content based on variable values and that's very interesting suppose that you have a page and that page lists uh, images of some flowers so uh, there might be a scenario that those flowers are coming from some database and that database is getting updated day by day so you want that all the latest flowers must show on your website so for that you have to use that express handlebars wala thing and this will help you get all the dynamic data from that database and it will get on updated once the database is updated 
so we are not using database we are using a public third folder which is the public folder and this folder is the static folder available on our website so we will be uh, storing all the photos inside this public folder which is accessible throughout the website so in the public folder we have photos and the photos we have these many photos okay so first of all let me delete all these so that you get to know this thing works so yeah so once we click on the register bar thing uh, it will take the two names first name last name and append it it with the photo name and it will save it here inside the photos and the fourth thing is the routes uh, for which we have installed that express express so that is for the routes and routes are basically the controllers in the mvc c for controller or routes and views i have already explained you we are using handlebars the template engine and dot handlebars is the extension through which the view engine the node js will be able to guess that this is a handlebar file and we have to use it so this is a, a predefined structure so you can name something like views one views two or something uh, other than views so this is this should be fixed and inside it uh, there is a layouts and the this is also fixed and inside this you have a main dot handlebars which is the main file or the root file from where all your uh, things will be displayed so in my root file main dot handlebars uh, the navigation bar and the footer which you can see are the fixed things and the middle part which is the this one the white part is dynamic part which is changing and which comes from two other handlebars so first one is the register or the index dot handlebars so index dot handlebars is having all the code for that add guest form and yeah that is and i guess we are not using this thing so let's delete it out yeah save it and the second dynamic thing which we are displaying in this section is the guest showing all the guests so right now we have deleted all the guests so it is showing zero guest found so that's a very cool thing so i have done that uh, if condition like if there are no photos in that section then there are no guests who are attending our party so let's enroll some new guests so it will show you this and the user will click on this or either this to go to the registration page and add new users so here in the index or handlebars we have all the add form add guest wala code html code and it's using the bootstrap classes for that mobile responsive wala thing and all the other classes and the form uh, there is uh, one property called action and this action is uh, sending this form data to use slash user slash register route so this is called a route for which we have uh, installed that express to handle all the routes and the method which we use while posting data is the post method and the form data will be sent to the server and send server will be able to know that this is form data by this encoding type which is multi part slash form data and now we will go to the main thing main file which is the server.js which is the heart of this entire project so if i delete this file then this project is done it's it's not going to run everything will fail and um done with it so let's uh, move ahead and see what we have so we have exported express we have exported express handlebars we have uses multer and yeah one more npm library multer so we are we are using multer and it is used to upload files to your public directory which is this one so we will be using multer to store single files 
right now as we have only one choose form but you can also use it to upload multiple files so we will see to it what that do and then we have a port number so our node just projects or project always run on a port number okay so yeah so after that we have a uh, created an instance of our user controller so this is the controller where which we are using and let's see what we get inside so this controller is inside the routes slash user routes slash user so this is our controller file yeah here we have two controllers first one is to register the guest and the second one is to view that guest so this controller will register on the form data and this controller will be used to get those form data and display on that guest wala route here so yeah let's see uh, what we have again in the server.js so after that we have just uh, taken the instance of that controller we have not used it so far so after that once you are done with those things so you have to create an instance of express so that you will be able to create routes so app is the instance of express and we will be using app dot use express dot json so this express dot json will be used as a middleware and this will tell our server that our response will be in json so we will be using this and the second is the app dot use express dot url encoded uh, extended true means we will be also getting the form data so for that you have to use these two things and we are using extended equal to true because that url encoded thing is deprecated so you have to use that extended equals to true and here is the code for multer to save photo into the public photos directory so we will come to this later and yeah this public directory is static so access static files in public directory so to access that you have to use this app dot use public express dot static so you are defining public directory as a static directory and it can be accessed by express or any of the routes routes so that's done and here we are uh, configuring handlebars so app dot engine handlebars and ex phbs is a instance function and we are setting view engine to look for all the files which I have dot handlebars here and now we have a route uh, with a forward slash which is a ro uh, root route means uh, whenever our uh, site will load on localhost colon 5050 it will render this index dot handlebars which is our uh, form wala page this page index dot handlebars so you just have to uh, write like this response dot render index for a thing and this thing if you are noticing so I am using uh, ES6 so in, in uh, if you are using ES5 then you must be writing like this function and replacing this thing and it will work fine so in the ES6 you can use like this remove the function and use the arrow arrow function this is called arrow function so that's pretty cool I get uh, always uh, uh, tried uh, new things that makes me happy so that is the get route and the second is the uh, slash user slash register so I will show you uh, from where I am using this so we will go to the index dot handlebars and here you can see the form in the form we have a action a slash user slash register so once this form is submitted it will uh, paste the route 
this route here like this user slash register so once this thing is uh, called the uh, server will look for its route here in the server.js file and it's a post route so we have app.post and the route name so whenever that uh, URL will uh, have that slash user slash register it will uh, find a route for that in the server.js file and once the route is found we will upload a single so upload what is upload here okay so now we are using multer okay guys so we will uh, now explore the this thing here so we will see the configurations of what we require to store a single file in the publics or uh, slash photos folder so we will be using a uh, disk uh, storage function which is a predefined function inside the in, inside the multi package and in this package we have two properties file name and destination so using the file name we will be uh, changing the file name to our predefined uh, file type so what i am doing here you can see i am getting the first name last name value i am using the dot trim function to trim all the white spaces like if i write uh, Mm, white spaces for example if I write my young and I do space 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 I do a space and then I write Kumar and then space and then then if I uh, do a register and once we get here full name or a thing so it will not uh, write like this my young space space Mining space dash space Kumar space. So here we can see there is extra space here and there is extra space here. So dot trim will uh, trim all the extra spaces and it will look like this once we are done. So this full name will look like that. And now we are adding the file name. So full name plus dash. Uh, so current uh, time and we are using uh, using the epoch time here so what is epoch time let's search epoch time converter yeah so we have a uh, epoch time let me show you yeah so this is the epoch time so this is the unique time which is changing every moment which you will see right now yeah it's changed 1925 so whatever date you enter so once you write this thing now date dot date function so it will give you the current date like this but i want something uh, unique to add a unique uh, file name to my user so i will be using that dot now to get this value and then the file dot uh, original file name so it will have the original file name so this will uh, append like full name hyphen that epoch value hyphen original file name so that will be my full file name and then i will be returning a callback with error null and i will uh, return the file name to that multer and after that uh, we have a destination wala thing which we will be using to uh, tell the multer that where we want to save our files to and we want to save our files to our public which is static folder and which is accessible throughout the project and we want to save our files in public slash photos and that's it so we have the configuration set to storage and we have a variable upload equal to multi and storage property will have the storage while configuration and once we are ready and uh, once that route is called once we uh, submit all this form let's let me uh, submit this form uh, real quick let me have a space here so that you can see that trim wala thing so let me choose a file uh, let me take a, a picture of mine it will be a passport size photo so please don't laugh on me <laughs> so yeah we have a file so once i click on this register 
it will go to this route here and it will upload that uh, single so here we have two, uh, two types of thing if you want to add a single photo we will use single function if you want to have multiple photo then you will use like array or something I guess and this is the name of the f uh, element file element let me show you in the index and the handlebar in the form where we are taking the input of file you can see this name element so this name is uniquely defi defining this in input wala element so you have to use that propic here and tell the multi that you have to get the file from that element having the name value as propic so that is done and now we are calling that controller dot register so this route will be called now and we will be going inside this line 7 register wala thing and we are taking the first name last name value here and we are also taking the file photo url so it will give us the path of the url where that photo exists and we are doing a quick validation I give f name l name and the path exists then everything is ok and we will redirect to our add guest page which you can see right now ok guys so and if uh, anything is not uh, there then it will give you a status 500 and send status registration failed that you will be able to see in the uh, right down in the server side so that is part of the registration process so now we will see what we have next in the server.js okay so the next route which we have is the handle the view guest route okay so let's go to the mm, views and i will show you when i click this guest which route is called so we will go to this layout and main handlebars and uh, you want to know that how these guest and index is being rendered inside this main handlebar so this main handlebar is the main file or the static file which we have inside our uh, layout folder and we don't want to change anything uh, like I have changed some things like uh, I have added a header so this is my navigation thing and this is my footer wala thing so you can add anything up here up down and you have to add this thing this uh, curly braces curly braces curly braces and body so this is a placeholder which you have to use and <coughs> everything which is here and here will be rendered inside this okay guys so this is very crucial and I have added a header here which is a navigation thing so you can use a bootstrap uh, navbar just copy that and paste it here and in the href section you just have to add the route so slash will give us the main route and once we cl I click on the guests it will uh, take me to the slash guests route so let's let's click on that thing guest and here we go we see the file uh, this is me in a blue shirt uh, having a passport size photo of on 2nd April 2018 <laughs> so that's pretty old photo of me mine and this is just a text which I wrote here to, so that this should look something bigger and this is these are the guests so how this thing come up so that is the main question now hmm. so now we are clear with this thing <coughs> okay now we go to server.js and when this route is called uh, slash guest like here slash guest so this will be called and this user controller dot get guests will be called so we again will go to the routes and the user.js and then 
19 number line uh, user controller dot get guess I'm still recording I guess yes and here we have a array final guess so what I am uh, so you must be uh, thinking that how am I, am I able to get this Mayank Kumar name as I'm not having any MongoDB database so what I thought is that let's uh, give our profile photo a name which is having Mayank hyphen that epoch time hyphen last name and then or uh, sorry 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 I have, I have given like the full name hyphen epoch time uh, hyphen and the original file name so what I am doing here let me show you finally yes and I am here uh, accessing the public folder so that I will be able to read and I am usually using a, a file fs module to read uh, from the file from that folder okay so, and also a path module to get the path of that folder public photos so this is the files path and this files is having all the files inside that photos or a thing so that's how to use this fs dot read directory sync sync all the files from the directory and read it and show it in files so files will be a array of all the images which we have inside that public and photos directory so now we will create a register of uh, guest object having multiple guest details so now I am creating a object file which have a multiple record of guests which are registered so right now we have only one mank which we can see right now here in the public photos so you can see the uh, way I, I save this file name Mayank hyphen Kumar hyphen epoch time hyphen image name okay guys so once we are done here and if there are no files it will just say that no guest registered and yeah we are doing one more thing we are rendering that guest wala thing and let me show you what it will do if I delete this thing here so right now at the moment we don't have any guest and when we click on this guest again it will go here and this condition will become true that as right now we don't have any files so it will render and uh, render the guests dot handlebar which is this one guest dot handlebars so render function is always used to render these handlebars or any html file which you have there so we will use render and guests so it will uh, say which file to render and then we are sending a data having value no guest registered so this data will be accessed uh, available inside this guest wala handlebar so we will go inside the guest wala handlebar and we will see what we are uh, getting here yeah guys so here we have this Uh, we are using the handlebar helpers uh, each uh, each helper so what this each is doing so uh, I will come to this in a moment so what I'm doing here is that if we have a list of guests then we are just displaying it in the card uh, which I will be showing you in a moment and if we don't have any uh, guest then it will just go to the else and this else is showing this Hi there, zero guest found. So let's let's do this, and here we go. Hi there, zero guest found. Let's enroll some new guests. Yeah, so I have to do that. So let's go back. Mm, now we will have Amita Bachchan to the party. Bachchan, I don't know the spelling of that, but that's okay. I don't care. So downloads. So we have Amita Bachchan here right now, the superstar of Bollywood. And let's open it up, register, and here we go. We have that file. So where I was, so this thing is done, that validation well thing is done. So we are inside the users and having uh, seeing that guess all a thing. 
Okay. So if we have a uh, something in our files which we have like Amitabh Bachchan, so this will have multiple things. For that we have using a for loop. So in for loop there will be multiple rows. So if I want to show you this thing, let me uh, do one thing here so that you get to know what I am trying to say. Yeah, so what I am doing is uh, there might be multiple files like this. Let's add uh, one more Sha Rook Khan. So I guess we have a pick for Sha Rook Khan as well. Yeah, we have it register and now we have Sha Rook Khan as well in our photos. So that's cool. So now we are having two files in our photos and these files will also have two uh, files in, a, in those array like this so image it will have like this image let me have a comment so that you can guess what I'm trying to say image 1 and image 2 so we have these things here image 1 uh, don't go with the sp spelling mistake that happens with me a lot so right now this fi uh, file uh, will have this thing that Amitabh Bachchan image and the uh, image to as Sarukh Khan image and I will be first 0 and then 1 so once the I is 0 I am calling a function format guest object and let me show you that this is not a controller wala function this is a private function which only be accessed inside this controller and this function can is uh, will not be able to be accessed uh, from outside as we are not using that dot operator with the controller name so yeah and one more thing in the bottom you have to write this module dot exports so that if you don't write this you will not be able to uh, write this use the control dot get guest so it will not be able to get uh, find that this dot guest wala function is available in that inside that user controller or not and you will not be able to import this here this one line 7 so I hope you get that why we use this and module is uh, in our node.js project each file each js file is a module so that's why we write module dot export so that each of the file everyone uh, each of the other file where we want this file to be imported gets to know that we have exported this user controller and now you are uh, allowed to use it so that was it so yeah we are here on line 30 so we have two files uh, on the first it is in 0 it will send the Amitabh Bachchan file to this format guest object we have the file here we will set the image path to slash public slash photos plus file name so we will have the file uh, path here and now we have a split image file name so we are using a split function to split the image file name which is this with this hyphen so wherever we get hyphen it will convert that thing into an array like this like we have Amitabh Bachchan wala thing here right now so we will have array as this Amitabh don't go with the spelling guys then we have a hyphen then Bachchan hyphen then 15 uh, that number I don't know that number is and then so on so we have that file in and uh, that we have that array of all the mm, words which are splitted by a hyphen and we always know that the first two elements are the first name and the last name so that I have just used that split image file name dot first index value and last name index value and I had concatenated with a space to get the guest name and this is how I am using that Amitabh Bachchan thing here
so that's pretty cool i guess so if you like this thing then i deserve a like from you so go and hit that like button as well for this thing which i have done right now here and after that you can see data ob uh, object having a name key having the guest name and profile having the entire image path and then i am using uh, final guest wala array and pushing the data inside it here and then it will go to the second iteration and then again it will push that file into this and let me show you uh, let me console uh, write a console here so that you get to know what we are doing we should write it here console dot log final guests final guests so you will see uh, what is the structure of our final guest which i am uh, making here this dot push wala thing so again we will go back click on guest and here we go the console you see this is the structure so this is a array having objects first object this one amita bachan having name amita bachan profile is entire path of that file and the second object is sharuk khan and the entire uh, path of that uh, sharuk khan wala photo and that is inside this final guest wala array so let me remove that console now i don't want it and once we are done with everything we are just returning a response a final response that we are done with everything and we want to render that guest wala page and it will re again render that guest dot handlebars and with a property guest i am sending final guest the whole that array having all the final guest inside this final guest and once we open this guest dot handlebars and now you guess what this guest is so this guest is this key which we are defining here here so this guest is the key which we have to use to dynamically render all the objects which we have inside the guest array so right now uh, we are using each helper so it will iterate through the all the uh, elements of that array so first it will go to the amita bachan wala thing then it will go inside so we are using this uh, card deck wala template from the bootstrap so you can go and uh, use whatever template you want so i'm just using this card deck and having that shadow wala thing so that you get a uh, 3d wala effect and after that in the image for image uh, tag in the src so we are using this so now you ask we have guest and why we are using this so if you want to get the current value of the guest element then you have to use this so this rep represents the current selected value of that array so that array is having two values right now Uh, first object is the amita bachan the second is the sharuk khan so once this is uh, this is running so first the guest will have the amita bachan so you want to get the profile of that amita bachan which is this profile image profile path so we will use this means amita bachan wala element ka this dot profile so it will get this profile and paste it here and then we have this altered if the image is not shown then we want this dot name name of that personality yeah and then we are again having a another div and having a h5 with a name where we are showing this amita bachan and sharuk khan and on the below we have last update one second so that this is static so i'm just using it for uh, uh, showing purpose so it doesn't make any sense like if i update and things later on if i uh, am doing anything then it's not updating it's just a static thing so i guess let's remove it let's remove it i don't want this right now mm, 
I changed my mind. So that's it. So our server is again running, and now if I use a cache wall thing, uh, it is gone. So now it look much better, I guess. <laughs> so my designing skills are getting better and better. So now you guess, if there are no guests, then it is going to the else part, and it is showing that hi there, zero guest found, which we have already tested out. So I hope you all get this thing, what I built here. So with the help of handlebars, uh, multer to f upload those files in the photos or a direct directory and routes or a controller and that express handlebars for this handlebars and express and things which we are using here to make this thing work. And after that thing, we are going with the first thing which we always do is app dot listen. So your app should listen to a port, which is the 5050 port. And this is again the ES6 function, arrow function. And we are just consoling. And which what new thing which you can find here is that this is a backtick. So what the uh, purpose of backtick is that you can do a formatting of console logs very easily and very dynamically like this so if you have a variable value port and if you want if you don't want to do this like do it like this like single quotes and then you want like this uh, generally we did like this do like this this one but this looks very old style and uh, I don't want to do that so what I will do is, I will use this back tick which you can find uh, above the tab, just click on this, you can see that back tick and then again back tick and several listening and then you have to use a variable to generate that variable value here. So we will use dollar, then curly braces open and close and then the variable name, so that's simple. So you can see several listening 50-50 that's it for this explanation of my mini project which I did today itself from the morning so I hope you all enjoyed this video and right now we are on Saturday so it's very late I guess and I'm gonna just upload it to my channel so please guys uh, hit that subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get all the notifications for me to directly on mobile phones and I will see you in the next video of this which will be coming in next week so till then, happy watching and Jai Hind.